Hello, it's Dr. Alex Popovich, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I will be talking about Zotero application and how I am using it to manage my articles and take my smart notes. So let's dive in. First of all, you need to download Zotero onto your computer. You can use Windows or Mac platform. As you know, I'm mostly on a Mac platform. So you go here, Zotero Personal Research Assistant, which is Zotero.org. Um, and you can here download the application. When you click onto the download button, you will get to this page and it will automatically figure out whether you're on your Windows or Mac platform. You have to download first here, but also connect Zotero connector. Um, for this, you will not be able to use Safari browser if you're a Mac user. You can use either a Chrome connector, which I do tend to use. I use Brave browser, or you can use it for a Firefox browser as well. When you download Zotero, it will look something like this. You will not have all the side files. You will have um, just an empty library here. And this button here, you can add a new collection. Um, and that's when you start having lots of articles and stuff, you can do it this way. Uh, you can use this instead of using pocket for reading or anything like that. So I can have my read files here in this, um, uh, in this way. And I've downloaded them from my Brave browser. So if I go here, so I will go to PubMed which is a place where you can find lots of articles for us doctors, for example. And let's say here, I will want to look at this thing, parathyroidectomy outcomes. And I'm an endocrine surgeon, so this may be important for me or anything else that you might research. So it will... Um, come up with a quite a lot of articles, uh, as you see. Uh, after you've downloaded your Chrome connector, there is this uh, like a um, folder thing, so save to Zotero. When you click on this, if you have a lot of articles, it will uh, come up with everything. So you can just select all and push OK. And it will save it to read, but you can also save it to something else, like say parathyroidectomy here. And done. So all these articles will be saved within your um, library. If you want to search something else from the internet, let's say um, best productivity apps of 2020. Let's, let's have a look at this one. So if I read it and I want to look at it or have it uh, as my um, article and find it interesting, I will click on the same. For some reason, it comes a slightly different because it's not as many, I suppose, articles. It has this uh, kind of file thing more rather than a, a folder. And you can again choose, and I want to choose to read, and it saves it as a snapshot. If you want to attach it uh, as a PDF, you push Command P, and then it, say, it says save as a PDF, and you can save it as a PDF that way. Or you can just go into File. Uh, sorry, you have to print it to save it as a PDF. If you go as a Save Page As, it will just do it as a web page, uh, which you already have in uh, um, Zotero. So you have to go as a print to get to that same page. So now um, this is the article and you just want to drag then into that folder uh, application. And it comes like this in here. And you can, let's say I can highlight it. And it doesn't matter which application you use. You can just use preview and just put different uh, highlighting. 
areas. You can actually change the color if you want to do that in preview. So this way it's not going to do it. So you might have to do it into two. And if you close it and you open it again, it will have your highlights. You can also add notes, standalone note, which is just goes into um, all of the files that you have in the library, or you add a child note. In this case, we want to add a child note um, to this article, um, but you can add easily a note uh, through this way. And I find it's the easiest to add notes in this paragraph here. You can also uh, put it tags. So I quite like using tags because then later on you can surge things to your um, tags and you can relate them to different um, see to different articles as well so you get some connections in this area as well which can sometimes help uh, with your search and especially when you have a lot and a lot of articles I would recommend definitely that you have tags because uh, search much better so 2020 there is only one and the other tag associated with 2020's productivity apps. To be able to really well manage the PDF files and export them into Notion or in a Roam research is um, you download that um, ZOT file. So if you go to download ZOT file, you go to the area called ZOT file and you download the uh, file when you downloaded the file, you have to go back to Zotero. So here in tools, you put add, uh, there are add-ons. All right. So when you download the Zot file, you can click on here, install add-on from the file. When you click on that, the Zotero files will come up and be um, a red when you've downloaded it and you just click install it and then uh, enable it it'll become a, a, enabled automatically you will have to restart it often you have to restart Zotero for it to become to become uh, um, active and then when you click on the PDF you can view PDF show in library and everything but there is a manage attachments this area on your right click and you go here and put extract annotations so we extract the annotations see I've, I've done that and now you can uh, basically copy and paste these annotations so now you can go into your uh, um, daily notes and I do them through here these days because I find out the best uh, way to do it is everything through daily notes. So this way I can have my highlights imported from um, Zotero. After you have highlighted your areas in um, Zotero, you can move this file then um, into, into your Rome research and copy it into that. So sometimes I do that if I want to keep the articles in both, 
or you can use both for uh, keeping in articles. But it then becomes quite messy for me. I don't want to necessarily store all the articles in the Rome Research. I'd rather use Rome Research just as writing application. If I want to do the same in Notion, I will get into my articles area and then just add And so extracted annotations um, and I can I tend to put URL as well as tags into this area and it's relation to content when I write it. So it, as I said to you before, I'm still keeping both uh, my notes in the um, Rome research as well as in the um, notion. Often these days I will just copy this area from a Rome research with all my notes and marks and then just relate it to different contents or different tags. And this way you can use Otero to basically manage or export your annotations. Um, it's not a bad way to go if you want to use a free uh, reference system. So the reference something for us as a specialist in doctors we use that a lot writing either chapters in the books or articles or anything like that. Um, I prefer to write in Ulysses, so I'm struggling. You, there is no way to use Otero. If you just want to use a word, it's much better than other referencing. So for Zotero, uh, back into add-ons, you have to Zotero word for Mac integration. It's already in there, so you have to enable it. Sometimes it doesn't work straight away, but you do need to, if not, you do need to kind of log, disable it and then enable it again. And it tends to work really, really well. So if I want to write something, the Zotero will come into here so I can write uh, best apps. Um, And then I click on Zotero, add a citation. And uh, when you can, that it asks you what type of citation style you can do. And there's a lot of styles here. If not, you can actually import the style. And do you want it as a part of the footnotes or an endnote? So if you do that, and then now you look at it as corp vest. There we are. And you click enter. All right, and it'll come with number one. And it will come down here at the bottom of this area. Um, if you want to do several, then you can actually do here and put that one as well. So it will automatically add number two. It's very easy to insert the way you want and the type you want your, um, your um, references. If you decided you didn't want to have them done that way, you can change it and you can put as notes and push OK and they will become as an end note. The things that might not work as well with Zotero are you cannot work as well if you use EndNote as well within the Word document. So it's much harder to use it in those situations and often one or the other crashes. Um, so you have to a little bit choose whether you want to use Zotero or an EndNote. Play with it. It's free. You don't have to pay anything and it will save uh, across um, your account. So if you um, go to your preferences here, um, sync, you can put your um, account set up syncing. 
Uh, as said, if you use Word, which is majority of medical staff use uh, that or LibreOffice, it's easy to use Otero. But for some of the other formats, especially Ulysses, um, uh, 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 you cannot use it. You can use it for Scrivener, but you cannot use it for Ulysses that easily. So as said, Zotero is a good free option for a referencing uh, manager. Uh, if you cannot pay for, you don't want to pay for EndNote or something like papers. It's easy to edit your uh, documents in this area um, as well as export your edited documents. There are much quicker uh, and faster ways to import the highlights and I would recommend to go through Readwise IO um, basically and do it through Pocket um, and that way you can save much more articles into your Pocket uh, library if you wish to do that that way. But I think that way it's actually quicker because it imports all your articles much quicker into Rome Research or into your Notion database. Thank you very much for watching this video and bye for now.